Um, but at some point, I might I might take them out of there and paint them, and you know do them up nice so that they're you know they're not just raw pieces of metal. I wonder if you could get away with doing them one at a time, leaving the other two in there to still hold structure. Oh, easily. I could take two of them out and do them, and just have the middle one in there. Because I was standing on that fucking table without those struts in there. I just kept my weight close to the edge, and it worked fine. So I have no, I have no qualms that with itself. Is pretty good then too. Yeah, I went with three quarter inch plywood so that it would have all the strength that it could possibly have. And one of those one of those struts under the middle should be plenty to keep the likes of you guys from messing it up. Typically, I'm the one who's putting heavier shit on there. Nobody else is willing to to uh, to gamble on that. So. Me and Creepy are the ones that put the, the heaviest stuff on there in general. Yeah, I guess if a Sunday falls through or something and we don't have to do it in like uh, computer games or something, we could always go running around, grab some chicken, sit on a deck together and just do that or something. Yeah, because I mean, I'm not, I'm not averse to the gathering. It's just a matter of I don't have anywhere to do it at the current time, so if, if people want to get together, we could always, you know, hang out on the deck for a couple hours, but it seems like a bit of a waste to have Zook drive in, you know, an hour yeah, each course, way. Yeah. So I, I don't really, I don't really feel like wasting two hours of gas for him to sit on the deck for a couple hours. But I yeah, suppose, exactly. I suppose we can leave it up to him. Well, the chicken's not going anywhere. It's just that it's not like a good and tasty idea to do. Yeah, I do love the fucking chicken. How much does 1,100 arrows weigh? Not that much. Oh, good. I'd almost think compare, uh, carrying would be the harder part as opposed to the weight. Well, I'm putting it in one of my dinos, and I just wanted to make sure that uh, the weight wasn't going to be a huge problem, but he's got a stupid fucking high weight tolerance. No, although, me having said that, puts him over the limit. Yeah, Zook lives out of town like 45 minutes roughly. Has he been around much now that the wife's left? He was he was expressing an interest in Sunday, and then he was like, eh, actually, she's leaving on Tuesday. I guess I should make the most of the time I've got, so. Because she just left, like, Tuesday of this week, from what I understand. Yes. Yeah, she took off on Tuesday. Well, it's good that he got as much time with her as he can, because uh, with all the other people that are fucking up the basic instructions of quarantine rules, <laughs> she may not get another chance to come up here for a while. Uh, it might be next summer, actually. Yeah. With the kids in school and them both working, there yep. may not be another chance. So. Yeah, I, I envision in, in the fall and winter... There's going to be a bit of a rise in infections in cases, and oh, if... easily. What's that? I said, oh, easily. Once the cold hits again, yeah. Yeah. Once, once the the season season for you know flu and cold comes, I imagine it's gonna spike those infections, and when it does, people are probably still going to be as stupid as they are now, not. You know, not respecting the, the rules and blah, blah, blah. And 
is shit's going to hit the fan, and we're probably going to not have our border open again through the winter. It's it's going to be essentials only. I think they're going to stretch it long enough that they won't open it, and then fall and winter will hit, and they'll just keep going with it. If you mm -hmm. survey a lot of people, 75 to 80% have no interest in having it open. No, there's there's tons of people. Nobody I've, I've heard from or spoken to about it on either side of the border thinks it's a good idea. Now, keeping in mind, I have sample bias because I only associate with people whose IQ is north to room temperature. So, I mean, that's that's going to bias the sample size a little. New Zealand doesn't get as cold, but we've had low cold and flu infections and zero community transmission. Well, that's a fucking start at least. You know, if people continue to observe the precautions and be responsible and safe with how they behave, it could make it could make all the difference. I mean, it doesn't sound like you're asking a lot, but you really are. I mean, people want shit to go back to normal very badly. And so they're very much of a tendency to say, well, fuck it, and, screw, and you know, fuck the rules. Uh, there's my phone. I'll be back.